Jay, I'm just curious about, uh, you know, if you saw Coach's comments about the second unit, how much you and the rest of those guys are taking that to heart in terms of, you know, being able to sustain leads and, and build on leads when you guys come in, particularly in the first half. Yeah, uh, we just, like Coach said, we got to be able to come in um, and provide a, a certain boost to the team, um, especially on the road. We got to find ways to come in and make plays and either contain the lead or extend the lead. So I think that's one thing that the second unit has to focus on is be able to come in and bring great energy um, and just play hard from the get-go. So, Keegan. Hey, Trey. Being that emotional leader of that second unit, do you specifically feel kind of a responsibility when that unit underperforms? Uh, yes. I, I think one thing is, I mean, we all feel responsible. You know, I, our job is to come in there, like I said, just to – contain that lead if we had a lead and obviously give us a give us a boost I think we're not performing we're not we're not playing hard um we're not getting stops not taking out of the ball I and mean, that's one thing we, we focus on is really take care of the ball and, that, and if you don't do that that's 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 tough and we got we got to figure things out and so I think that's that's my responsibility is take care of the ball as well as my teammates we've got to figure, find ways to I guess like, give us a boost Dustin Uh, obviously managed to hit a couple threes uh, the other night. It seems like you've been able to uh, get buckets in a couple different ways, you know, maybe from mid range and, and hitting some of the floaters. I mean, how do you feel like your offensive game uh, is expanding and, and how, how much more confident are you in, in ways that you try to score the basketball? Yeah, um, I, I think I think I'm just getting better day by day. I'm just trying to focus on ways to help my team win. And I think um, like I said, just being more confident in my shot. I think it's one thing to keep getting more reps in practice. And, after practice, keep shooting the ball um, and being confident in games to shoot. And I, I know I can make shots. I know I can help my team in many ways um, on offense and defense. So just coming in, being prepared and locked in to find ways to help my team um, the best way possible. Tyler. Hey, Trey. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm curious, growing up, did you watch a, a lot of IU basketball and um, like maybe some, what were some of your uh, your favorite memories when you were growing up watching IU basketball? Yeah, um, yeah, I definitely watched IU basketball growing up a lot. Just watching all the Big Ten battles that they had. Um, obviously, Cody Zeller and that that team was a team I used to watch a lot, like that I remember. Um, but like I said, just watching those guys compete um, in the Big Ten and in the tournament it was just great memories for me. Just to watch them. Um, and, Obviously, the atmosphere in Indiana has always been a great thing to watch and see. So, Mike Schumann. Yeah, hey, Trey, go, going back to your three-point shot, how, how much were you able to work on that while you were dealing with the recovery? And, and did you make any tweaks to your shot? It looks like, it, you know, to my untrained eye, it might be a little bit quicker release. Yeah, um, I mean, I really just focused in on kind of just getting the ball up. Um, there's a lot of close shots. Uh, range finder shots just to help my form and keep my form the same because I, I want to be able to shoot it the same way every time um and that, that's one thing I really try to focus on um with my time off just getting my guy hand off the ball and kind of just be able to like, like I said shoot the same way every time and lock into my target and uh, make shots Jeff hey Trey appreciate your time uh road venues in the big 10 as a player, just give us your description. Of what's it like when you step out there on the court and fans are, you know, into it as into it as Big Ten fans are? Um, I mean, it's it's a great master anywhere you go, um, and you got to be locked in because it, it it gets loud. Um, you got to be able to do all the little things to help your team win. I mean, when you go on the road, it's not going to be easy. We know that, but um, we got to put ourselves in position to be be right there at the end of the game to be able to win games. And um, like I said concentrate on the little things and do all the, all the right things at the end of the game to put ourselves in position to, to win, win those big games on the road. Alex Bozich. Hey, Trey, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Um, curious, uh, you've had a couple games now, the Wisconsin game, the Iowa game, where you guys have had leads in the first half and then kind of let things slip away in the second half. Who are you looking for? Who are you looking to, I guess, uh, with, within the team for leadership and what has their messaging been during kind of these tough times on the court and then kind of in the aftermath in the locker room, who's 
who, who's like stepping forward and kind of delivering the message of what you guys need to do next? Yeah, I mean, well, our, our two team captains, Race and Trace, are the two guys that we really look through, um, follow. And those are the guys that we really look, look, look forward to to lead us. Um, and they've done a great job so far just being able to lead us. And I think they can do even a better job on the court and off the court. And I think they're going to do a better job. And I think it's all of us together combined to be able to just come together and, like I said, do the little things um, when we have those leads and try to maintain them. Um, I think it just comes down to, the preparation before the games um, and locking in with whatever you have with scout or anything. But I think it's just little things that we have to do together, come together as a team. Um, and obviously our two leaders, Trace and Race, just being more vocal um, leading us. And I, they've done a great job, but obviously I think they can be better too. So, Tristan. Hey, how's it going, Trey? Um, I guess I'm just curious, uh, coming off losses, you all have won every game so far this season. I guess um, – I guess, what can you just say about this team's attitude coming off losses and your all's ability to bounce back, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I, I think when you, when you lose a game, you just got to look forward to the next one because um, you can't get it back. And you just got to look forward and try to find ways what you did wrong um, and, and, and watch film and just notice the things you did wrong and try to um, correct them so you don't do them again. I think that's our, our main thing. We've done a great job of just bouncing back after losses because uh, we, know, we know those are the games that we could have won. And we should have won. Um, like I said, just getting the next one because every game in the Big Ten is important, and we know um, it's one game at a time, and we've got to focus on the next one. Tyler Tackman. Trey, it seems like Jordan has been more comfortable kind of throughout the course of the season. Um, are there any memories that stick out to you, whether it be over the summer or during practice or anything, with, where you really saw him grow? Yeah, I mean, he's he's grown a lot um, in this off season, just being more comfortable on the court. Um, I, I think our, our coaches will really let him know that he he's he's doing a great job um, and he he knows he's doing a good job. And he's, he knows he's got to keep working too. But I think, like I said, just making big time shots for us and he's done, he's done a great job just shooting the ball um, and he's coming in confident. Um, and obviously the other aspect is, you know, to defend and rebound. That's one of his main, um, best actual aspects of his game is being able to rebound. So I think he's done a great job of knowing his role um, and coming in and playing hard. Dustin. Trey, I wanted to go back to uh, the questions about the second unit. What, um, just as a player, what's the value of, of having a, a unit that you come in with off the bench as opposed to just, um, you know, you coming in with starters or, or something like that? I mean, what, what kind of value is there, I guess, the, maybe the chemistry you can build when you operate kind of as a, as a shift? Yeah, I, I think just coming in um, as a second unit, is just you got to be ready, um, prepared, because uh, we're supposed to, be able to lift those guys up when they come out. Um, like I said, just either maintain the lead or extend it. And that's one thing we have to focus on as a unit is just to come in and play even harder because um, we know uh, that it's our time to come in there. And so it's all about the little things, but coming in, playing real hard um, and, and doing our job. So I think that's one thing us as a second unit have to focus on is be able to come in together um, and play, play real hard. Jeff. Hey, Trey, in your eyes, what is the most impressive thing about Race Thompson? Um, I'd, I'd say just how hard he plays um, and just the way he leads by example. I think just the, the passion he plays with and the, the commitment he's had to this team has been been so great. Um, I, I think we all see that and we all notice that he's, just, he's come to practice every day, plays hard, um, and he's going to play hard every game. You know he's going to bring it. And so it's, it's just been great to kind of watch him uh, form himself into a leader. And it, it, it's, it's great for me because I, I know I, I want to play with him. I want to be out there with him because I know he's going to play hard. And I know he's going to talk to me and talk to the teammates and pick us up. So I think he's just done a great job this year is becoming a leader um, and playing real hard um, and, and leading by example. Thanks. Last question, Kevin. Yeah, Trey, I don't know what kind of relationship you may have with Tamar, but, you know, he went through, you know, and, you know, I know you went through so much of the downs as a freshman, and I don't know if there are any stories or things that you can kind of relate to him to kind of pick him up as he's kind of going through his own kind of ups and downs as well. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's just, it's, like I said, it, it's, he knows what he's got to do, um, and we're all here for him. We're going to pick him up, um, and it's not like he's playing bad. We know, we know we can play better. Um, and he, he knows he can play better too. So he's going to, he's going to push himself. He's a hard worker. 
um, and he, he stays in the gym. So I'm not worried about that. I know he's going to do well. I know he's going to he's going to be a big big factor for our team um, this upcoming the rest of the season. I, I know he's going to keep keep grinding, stay at it because we, we know we need him, and everyone else on our team knows we need him. So, like I said, I'm I'm not worried about it. I, I know he's going to he's going to push through this, and he's he's going to be fine. Just how tough is it to adjust as a freshman in the Big Ten, based on your experiences? What what's that like? Yeah, I mean it's it's definitely adjustment because uh, you're playing really good teams and it's a great competition. And it's a different level of physicality and all that. So I think it's a big time adjustment. You got to be able to find ways to compete um, and push yourself because it's not going to be easy at all. Um, it's a grind, but um, that's what you got your teammates for to pick you up all the time, just to be there for you. So.